Yo guys, welcome back to Blazing Tech. We have a new product we want to review and I wanted to share this with you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you please subscribe because I've been noticing a lot of people are not subscribed. If you want to keep yourself up to date and see our latest things or uh, comment on some stuff and ask questions, feel free to do so. Because I'm, like I said, I've been seeing people not subscribed. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to know, keep get yourself up to date and turn on your post notification, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the new product that we're gonna about to reveal. Let's get started. The product we're gonna be displaying today is the, the 2.4 wireless microphone transmitter receiver set. It supports audio, visual, amplifier, computer, mixer, trolley, active speakers, the model KX6512C. It's compatible with Bose speakers, amplifier devices, voice amplifier, PA systems, home theaters, and outdoor speakers. Lightweight and easy to carry anywhere, anti-howling, anti-interference, more power saving, signal is more stable, clearer sound quality, Constant frequency supports 3.5 millimeters, one eighth, and then 36.35 millimeters, one a quarter. That's if you got numerous. That's if you got different types of connections. So if you want to hook this up to the PA system, you're gonna to need to use that the quarter connector. So let's go ahead and open this box up, sucker up, and we could see what's inside. So far, guys, as you could saw, as you saw, we have the we get a charger, a dual charger. We actually get a USB and it, and it connects to two devices, which is connected to the transceiver and the uh, tran uh, transmitter and the receiver. So you get those there and you get the one, one quarter millimeter. And then you get the 3.5 millimeter jack, that's dual. So you can hook it up to that, to the, trans to the transmitter receiver. And then you also get the two little wind, wind muffs. And you also get the little furry ball. That's a little, another wind muff. That goes on top of the microphone if you prefer the differences you also get the instruction manual on how to take care of this product and then you also get this one right here this right here which actually lets you control the vol the volume control on it and you also get to be able to clip it on your shirt on your back so you can actually be kind of like cableless so you don't have to be running wires all the floor and everything this is completely wireless 2.4 um, you also have the the on and off you have the on and off switch right here that turns it on and off. And then here on the other side, you have the, where you actually connect the USB. That's exactly where I was explaining to you a little while ago, that this is one of the areas that you connect to charge the device. And yes, guys, it is rechargeable. Also, you get this right here. This is also, you have to turn on and off. This is where you turn on and off on this other device. Here is where you actually charge it. So this is the second device you gotta make sure you plug into charge. If you don't charge it, it probably won't turn. It won't definitely be working. Also, you got a clip. You also get a clip for your shirt, so you could actually clip this one to your shirt. The other one you can actually clip to your pants or your shirt, wherever you feel like clipping it to. So far, as you see this product right now, so we're gonna go ahead and go straight into testing, so I could actually show you guys on how the quality of the audio sounds. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Yeah, right now, guys, make sure you connect this 3.5 millimeter to the bottom of this jack. That's right. Okay, here, make sure you connect this 3.5. Make sure you connect this 3. Okay, guys, make sure you plug in this 3.5 millimeter jack into this port here, so we could actually get the. Um, this connected to our computer so we can actually start doing the test run and make sure you plug in this little wind muff onto the microphone to this little part here so we could actually get started on this test you're able to see a blue indicator light right there show that it's on also guys you have to see this 3.5 millimeter jack it is a big difference when you connect it to your to your to your computer and to your transmitter i plugged it into my transmitter this side, this one side that might be just slightly bigger than the other. So if one side doesn't work, the other side does work. I cannot explain what happened, but if for me it didn't, it wouldn't work unless I plug down to the, this side over here. They look exactly the same, that much difference. The little black lines are still in the exact same spot. Everything's identical. So if one side doesn't work for you guys, make sure you try the other side and connect it. Make sure it is firmly connected evenly onto there and make sure the indicator light is on so you can make sure that it's actually 
connected. If it's flashing, it's not connected to the receiver, as you can show you. As yeah, so I'm gonna show you, if I turn off the transmitter, you'll see this. This indicator is not connected. As soon as I turn on the, the other device, it turn connects. Same thing for the other device. If I turn this one off, if I turn this one off, the other, the other one will actually start searching. So a little heads up guys, so if you see that fla light flashing, that's showing that it's, it's actually indicating that it's searching for something. So you turn this one on, it should automatically connect solid. Solid means connected, blinking or flashing and again in searching. As you can see guys, I have the wind muff here. You can see the wind muff is right here on my shirt. It looks just like a little fur ball or whatever you wanna call it, a little wind muff ball that's right here on my shirt. You also have the option to connect, use these other types of fil no, uh, filters. I'm in a noisy room, air conditions on, uh, and some other stuff is working. My little boy is playing on the tablet. So you have right now you're testing out the mic. Mic is testing. I'm, I'm going further, further away, but I'm almost to the wall across the room, and you should be able to hear me clearly. Um, you know, it's it's pretty dope. You know, I, I really like that. I don't have wires on the floor. I could walk around a little bit, move around if I have to, and I'm, I'm completely wireless. On that and uh, and I'm seeing that on the computer iMac I'm seeing that the the volume control is pretty a uh, pretty legit I control the volume a lot of the, the how, how loud I'm gonna be at through this volume control that's right here on this keypad it's it's pretty clear as to what I was testing right now as I was just making sure the mic was picking up it's been pretty good I, and I'm glad that it's wireless you know I can put this on my back and then just move around the room and not really have to interfere with anything yeah guys for the price on this product it is pretty it is pretty clear that I would recommend this product I would so totally recommend this product for the price for everything guys it's reasonable it's not too expensive if you want to it's very economical on the price so if you if you don't want to spend too much money on a, a good my wireless mic set this is a this is an actual go-to mic I would recommend. It will be in the description below. You can actually click on that link. It'll take you to the uh, to the location, to the store that it works. You can buy it. If you have any questions, if you want more review on this product, you have anything you want, if it's not working, so I could kind of throw some stuff at you, you know, kind of some advice I would recommend. Make sure you subscribe guys, turn on your post notification if you want to see more of this type of content. If you want, if you have any suggestions on type of videos I need to make or want something to cover, uh, put it in the comments down below and I'll go ahead and work on that. So, so I'll see you later guys. Peace out.